Okay, everybody, welcome back to Baseline Farms. My name is Jade. So today we are going to start some potatoes. So in our zone, we can start potatoes from late September in through October and, um, and yeah, and have some because we have a really long growing season. So we could possibly harvest these potatoes sometime around, I want to say springtime maybe. I could be wrong. But I have potatoes in here already. And so I feel like I'm going to dedicate this bed as far as, um, as far as potatoes go as my potato bed, because in our season, in our growing region, we have a, such a long growing, um, season. I believe it's like 270 days of growing time. So that's a lot of time to grow vegetables. And I didn't know this when I first started, um, gardening. I thought that you could only plant things in the spring and, and then you're pretty much done and that's it. But no, there's a lot of things you can plant. You can plant your garden all year round. So I was out here earlier and I found a huge ass hornworm on one of the potato plants um, because I was noticing, you know, this one potato, let me show you right here. There's one potato plant right there. Do you see that one? Um, I noticed, so that was the potato plant that had the first hornworm that I've ever seen. And you know, a lot of foliage started growing back. And then I came out here this morning and I noticed that a lot of it was eaten, you know, munched on. So I came in here, looked around, saw one of those hornworms. Yeah, little sucker. So I found out that our, our chickens will eat them, but it takes them a little while to actually warm up to them. And so I give them to the ducks and the ducks seem to really like them. So that's what I've been doing is giving them to the ducks. So Already in this garden bed, what I've done was I trellised up these uh, potatoes, tomatoes, because the tomatoes were falling over. And so I cleaned up the bottom half of the potato. Uh, why do they keep calling potatoes? Tomatoes. So I cleaned the bottom half of the tomatoes up and then trellised it up. And I know it's kind of coming towards the end of the tomato season, but I did start my tomatoes a little bit later than um, usual. And so I'm still getting a whole load of a whole bunch of potato. Uh, potatoes, tomatoes. My goodness, where is my brain today? My brain is thinking tomatoes, but I'm really going to be planting potatoes. Okay, so let's get with it. So we are starting some potatoes. <laughs> All right, in here in this garden bed. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rubbish through here, dig through here, and um, it's not rubbish through, forge. I'm going to forge through here and pick out all the really big potatoes and then pop in some smaller potatoes like these guys like these little ones so these are some potatoes that i did pull out of the garden but they're just a little bit too small and so some of them are already starting to develop little um, roots so i'm going to go ahead and plant all these some red potatoes and some gold potatoes i mean some of them are good some of them are bad like this one i don't know there's some good little spots in here so yeah, I'm just going to pop them in here. I haven't had any problems with potatoes. I didn't realize how easy it was to grow potatoes until I started growing them. And and it's so fun to pull them out. I think last year was my first year of growing potatoes. And um, yeah, I just had no idea how easy it was. So let's just get started. I'm going to try to harvest all the potatoes that I could find in here. And then any small potatoes that I find, I'm going to stick them back in the garden bed. And then I'm just going to pop the, these these potatoes and uh yeah and hopefully we'll get some things and then also i'm gonna plant up a couple little containers over by the um cottage and that's what i'm gonna that's my plans for today all right so let's just go ahead and get started on planting these potatoes I think but first we're gonna harvest some potatoes and then we're gonna plant the potatoes
All right, well, that scared me to death. Oh my goodness. I don't know why the chickens are not afraid of those Jerusalem um, crickets. Are those called the Jerusalem crickets? Yeah, I mean, that's what they're Jerusalem grasshoppers or Jerusalem crickets or something like that. Oh my goodness, the chickens love those, but they do not like those uh, big hornworms for some reason. And that one scares me more than the horn. They both scare me. They both scare me. So I'm done. Um, putting my hands into the soil and I'm ready to plant some potatoes because I'm afraid that I'm going to run across another one of those potato bugs because they're so scary. You should see that it was moving the potato around. Oh my God, so scary. All right, so I pulled out a bunch of little, tiny little potatoes like this and this is going to eventually, like a little potato seed and that eventually is going to turn into a big potato. So I have a bunch of those little ones, some red ones, some golden ones like these guys right here. Oopsie Daisy. Like this one right here, I'm just going to go ahead and pop that back in there. Same thing with this one right here. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and put those back into the garden bed in hopes that we get some more potatoes and no more potato bugs, which, come on, they're potato bugs. So we're eventually going to get some. I mean, the last time we, John and I, harvested the Jerusalem artichokes, that was the last time I saw one of those potato bugs. But, um, yeah, they're so ugly gets me all the time. Bugs, hate bugs, but I love gardening. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and pop these potatoes. Oh, look at the harvest that we got. So this is the harvest that we got from the, the little bit of potato plants that we had in here. And um, yeah, I cannot wait to get some more because that's so easy. You just pop them in there and then um, it's so fun to go looking for them, except for when you run across one of those potato bugs. Oh my goodness. That scared me to death, you guys. Gosh hate those little guys. What is this one? Oh, that looks like a little bulb. Hmm. You see that? That looks like a little bulb. I don't know what it is, but we're just going to stick it in here. Maybe it's a dahlia because I did have some dahlias growing in here at one point, like right here in the corner. I don't know if you could see me. Let me reach on over here. There we go. I don't know what I had you looking at. Okay, so let's just go ahead and start planting these potatoes. Um, I should get one of those little mats that I could put my knees down on, but, and I have one, but I don't want to go grab it. Everything's so far. I mean, it's not really far, but there's just a lot of walking involved. And it's not that I don't like walking, but I feel like that's so much time taken away from the things that I want to do. Next time, I'm just going to bring my little mat in here with me. Now, you guys, there's a lot of little roly polies in here, and I don't know if that's harmful to the, um, to the garden, but uh, I don't know. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and pop these in here. I'm gonna grab my little shovel and loosen up some of the dirt. I hope I don't run across another potato bug, guys. Okay, so then we're just gonna plop them in here, just like that. I mean, there's no rhyme or reason. You could just pretty much just like that. <laughs> That's my experience. I haven't had any troubles growing potatoes. I think look at this one, this has a big root. Stick it in just like that. Cannot wait to get some potatoes. So that is that. Now let's go over to the little cottage. We'll just plant up um, the one little container that I have in front of the cottage. And I have my little Buddha head that I'm going to plant some succulents in. So let's go ahead and go over there and do that project. Okay, so over here in front of the cottage, I have this little um, tin, I don't even know, like a little metal bucket. And I had all these little flowers left over from one of the jobs from doing the containers and I, the mums are already starting to open up so I thought you know what this would be so cute to put this in front of the cottage just to have a little pop of color next to the red I think it's gonna look so adorable so what I have going in here 
is I had some leftover sweet potato vine. This does not do good in the cold, but like I said, we have a long growing season, so I think it's just going to do fine. We have some leftover lavender here um, that I've had for a little while, and it wasn't doing too good, so then I cut it all back, and it's grown back. So I'm going to pop this in here. I have some dahlias. I have uh, some penny violas. Just a smorgasbord of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this in here and give it a cute little pop of color in front of this cottage. And then um, I'm going to show you what else I have planned. I'm going to put some succulents right here in this little Buddha head. So my girlfriend for my birthday gave me a bunch of succulents. And I thought that would be so cute to put some succulents in here because I haven't I haven't given her any hair for a long time or any plants. So I'm going to go ahead and give her some plants and I think she's gonna like that all right so let's just go ahead and start on this now I already put some soil in it I'm probably gonna have to top it off a little bit more because there's just not enough for these like this one is not doing too well I mean it's it is it is doing well this lavender is just that it's so puny but I know it's gonna grow bigger and once this lavender gets bigger my hopes is to um, Plant it in the big garden. Yeah. And just slowly work on the big garden and just start having all kinds of beautiful plants all around the inside, outside. I'm probably going to work in the inside of the garden first before I start working on the outside of the garden because it's so big. That garden is 4,000 square feet of space. And I believe I have, I said it before, I believe I have two four by fours and 12, 13, 14. I think I have 15 garden beds, if I could be correct. I have to count them. A lot. I have a lot. And they're four by eight, if I, if I didn't say that. All right, so let me grab some soil. What I'm going to use is just some miracle Grow. John had these, um, bought these bags of soil for some commercial containers. And so we're just going to utilize what we got. And there's nothing wrong. I just try not to use a lot of synthetic things in the garden. Like, for planting is different. If I go do commercial planting, it's different than than the garden stuff. You know, with the commercial stuff, you really have to use, um, they don't want to have bugs. They don't want to have aphids on their plants. So you have to use some sprays and things like that. And usually for my containers that I do, I, I usually carry some Captain Jack. So it's not bad, but you know, if you're trying to not spray things in your garden or just use chemicals like that, you know what I mean? So, but I do, I try to do um, the best at picking out some organic type of solutions for combating certain pests at the job sites. Just because I know that people touch them and kids might want to pull on them. And I don't want to put some heavy duty chemicals on the containers at the job sites. Just in case people want to go down and smell them. <laughs> you never know. You never know. I mean, I had one year where people were actually um, picking, picking the flowers, picking all the flowers. So they were just going around to all the containers and just have, having a blast picking out containers or picking out flowers for themselves. So, all right, so we're going to start off with this beautiful dahlia in the center. And um, I think that's going to look so pretty. So with the dahlias, all you have to do is deadhead them, you know, once they... Once the flower dies out, you just deadhead it and it just keeps forming more. It's so beautiful. All right, so we're going to put that one. I have two of them. We're going to put two of them. I feel like one might be enough now thinking about it. I mean, one might be enough. So let's just center that better. So we're going to put this one right here in the center. If I need to add it, I'll add it. But, and then we're going to go ahead. I'm going to do one lavender on one side, on this side. Or maybe, no, I'll put the sweet potato vine right here. And then I'll put another sweet potato vine right over there. I remember when I first, first grew these sweet potato vines. And I was um, changing out a container. And I saw all these sweet, po sweet potatoes in here. I had no idea. I thought you can eat them. They said you can. They just don't have any flavor. I didn't try it. I didn't. I didn't, uh, because I didn't know. 
at the time when I was planting things, I, I was such a new person at planting things. I had no idea what I was doing. All right. I still, I'm no, I'm no expert. I'm still learning. Everything is a learning curve for me. So, you know, I feel in life you're always, you should always be learning or teaching yourself something new. You know, you should never be stagnant because it's always fun to learn things and, and educate yourself. That turned out so cute. Look how cute that is. Oh, that's just gonna look so adorable. Look at that against the cottage. Once it starts to get so full right there, that's just gonna look so cute. Now I was going to put another container on this side right here, um, but I don't like how it doesn't match. You see that the tin one looks so cute on that side. So I think I'm gonna find another tin one and put it on that side so, it, so it's, you know, I have one on each side. I think that looks so cute. And then I have a little thing that I could put a hanging basket. Oh, I can't wait. And then I want to get a light, like an old vintage light that sticks out right over there. Oh, my hands are so dirty. Okay. So now we're going to pot up this one right here. So let me situate you and then we're going to put some succulents. Let me show you what kind of succulents I have that we're going to put in that container. Okay. So let me show you what we have. First, let me fill this little head with some soil. I'm just going to throw in some soil in there. Let's see here. Okay. That's that. And then I have this, this one, this aloe right here. And I want to get a pot for this one and probably put it around the pool area. So that's my goal is to pot this one up as well. My goodness. Succulents do pretty well. You don't have to, they don't need a lot of water. They're like a part of the cactus family. I mean, they do need water. I mean, it's just that sometimes I've been known to forget my, my succulents. All right, so these succulents, they have been drying out. What I do is I let the stems dry out a little bit and before I plant them, and then I just find a spot. So let me just kind of arrange this and see what is gonna be the best look for her. I think we're gonna put this little flower right here on the side. That'd be so cute. All right, and then let's see. Oh, this is so cute. I like this one. This is a cute one too. Put that one right here. I think she needs a lot of flowers right in the side. And then what you do is you just build up the soil right against that succulent. So put that like that and then put this in. And I know all these succulents are going to get really big. So I'm just going to nestle them in there. Once we get them watered in, they'll be just fine. Oh, this is a cute one. Look at that one. So cute. I'm going to pop that one right in there. Oh, she's looking so cute already. Look at that. All right, so now we have this one that's going to take up a lot of space. So, just stick that one right in the back there. Oh, this is cute. This is cute, kind of crazy and wiry. Just needs a little bit of water. There we go. And one other one. Let's see. Now... I feel like maybe 
put that one right there and we'll tuck this one in a little bit of soil. I'm gonna pack it in a little bit better just so they don't move around. So now let's replace these guys. I feel like because... There we go. Okay, now we're in business. I just needed to put the soil a little... I needed to add a little bit more soil in here to have them stick better. And I'm going to put this one right there. I wonder if I should get a chopstick. Okay, and then this one, we're just going to pop this right in the center. So we're just going to lay that. And these will all get some roots. Oh my goodness. This is going to be so stinking cute. I'm going to just put a little bit more soil inside there. There we go. Stick her in there. All right. Okay. Oh my gosh. I think that's going to be so cute. <laughs> Look at how cute. Let me get it. Let me give you a better view. A better angle. Easy peasy. Oh, look how cute that is. Oh, she's going to look so cute when that all grows in. I cannot even wait. All right, so now I'm just going to go ahead and temporarily put this one aloe into a container um, just so that it doesn't dry out. So I'm going to grab a container from inside the little cottage. I'll be right back. Okay, I was able to find a, like a, not a, just a regular black potting container, but an actual little container that I think it's going to look so cute in goodness I need some water just like that yeah I think that's gonna work and I could just set it right here on um on the shed like on this table just for temporary all right so let's get some soil in here So I got the soil in there. There we go. So this one, there's no rhyme or reason. You just have to make a little hole. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off some of these dead leaves at the bottom. Just like that. And then just nestle them right inside there. Pack them down really good. Add some more soil. Give it a good watering. And let me adjust you. There we In the soil around the root ball here. Okay. We have an aloe by the pool and they grow massive, but I love it. They're so good. It's good for everything. Okay. All right. So that is what we have going for today. Planting potatoes, planting these succulents, um, some containers. I did harvest a bunch of um, dill. So the dill seeds. So I'm going to take that inside. And what else did I do? Plant potatoes. Yeah. And I just kind of trellised up a bunch of tomatoes because <laughs> I kept getting those two mixed up, potatoes and tomatoes. All right. So that's pretty much what we have going. That's it for today. And then um, I guess I will see you in the next one. So take care, be safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.